would have thought pitching a tent in front of a cathedral would have generated as much politics as it did? Who would have thought whistleblowing would have had global effects? Who would have thought that prisoners would gain the right to vote when a prisoner took government to the court? So the things I study are acts, deeds if you like, by which people close the gap between citizenship and politics. But how do we know that people actually close the gap between citizenship and politics? At the Open University, in several projects, we have worked with Kurdish people in Turkey, sex workers across Europe, gay and lesbian activists in Latvia. We have often invited them to think about their politics and the meaning of citizenship. What we found is often people do not think of themselves as citizens. But when we work with them, they begin to reposition themselves as citizens as they begin to think about their acts. Our research seeks to understand how variation in soil wetness controls the composition of the plant communities so that water can be managed in a way that conserves the diversity and the ecosystem services it supplies. Our research is governed by the weather. Interesting things happen following extreme events, such as the summer floods of 2007 and the prolonged drought of 2011. These events can cause changes to the rare plant communities, such that if correct after management is not implemented, they could be lost. We use the knowledge gained to feed back to site managers, policy makers and landowners all across the country to help ensure water is managed appropriately to protect the important plant communities and the hay they provide. This is the 8th district, one of the poorest parts of Budapest. I've come to the Josef Varosh Children's Centre, one of the Shorestar centres. Staff and parents use the materials to help children who may be falling behind because of difficult family situations or disability. Lena Silvasi led the project to set up the Shorestart program. There are of course many uh, uh, ways of monitoring children's development used by health professionals, uh, by psychologists, by early intervention professionals. Uh, but none of them could be used universally uh, within this age group to monitor the development from zero to five. It would be either for one age or the other age or for this problem or that problem. But this developmental uh, scheme uh, made it possible to, to this universal use. With British authors, libraries and publishing firms famous throughout the world, We've always prided ourselves on being a nation of readers and book lovers. But what do we really know about what people in the past actually read and what they said about their reading? How might their reading practices and tastes be different from our own? This is the library of the prestigious Travellers Club in Pall Mall in London. The club was founded over 250 years ago to serve as a place for gentlemen travellers to meet and read. It has much the same function today, but for a wider membership. If we want to know whether reading habits have changed over time, uh, whether reading habits were affected by the outbreak of the First World War, or whether men or women read the same book differently, for example, we need to interpret some of the information that's stored in the Reading Experience database. 